Get a Snack at 4am is a game you've most likely heard of before. Whether you've played the game or seen YouTubers like Flamingo, Remainings, and 8-Bit Ryan play it, to quickly summarize the game, Get a Snack at 4am is a Roblox game created by Stixel on December 31st, 2020. Upon joining, you wake up at 4am and the objective is to get a snack. Wow. There's a lot more than just that, such as exploring the house and even going outside to a generic convenience store with many items. Experimenting with different items such as grabbing the orange will give you an ending and kick you from the game. Once you rejoin though, you'll notice a trophy on your statue collection shelf for getting a specific ending. There are 10 total trophies you can collect based on what endings you get, one being the orange, and the other endings being the chips ending, which is to get caught eating chips by your dad. Then the sleep ending, don't get caught eating chips by your dad. The toothpaste ending, just swallow toothpaste. The ultra death ending. Buy and drink orange juice from the convenience store, then swallow toothpaste. Why is this an ending? Doing this will take you to a void room where dummy mainly tells the player to come back again after all endings are obtained. Then you get the ultra death ending. Next is the shoplift ending. The house fire ending. Turn on the stove in the kitchen and set the house on fire. The freezer ending. Wait 420 seconds in the convenience store for the cashier to go on break and enter the walk-in freezer. You can't get out. The breakfast ending. Just make a breakfast with anything. The flooded ending. Fix the vending machine outside the convenience store by giving it 8 sodas that are in the store and the fridge inside your house. Once completed, upon rejoining you'll have a vending machine in your room with 8 sodas. Someone in a manhole then tells you to pour down 10 sodas. Doing so, once rejoining again, the map is flooded in soda. You then enter the freezer in the convenience store with cashier. And that's all 10 endings. After you completed every ending, getting the ultra death ending again will take you back to the void room where dummy says there's nothing else to do in the game. Then you just win. That was the main ending. If you rejoin the game after supposedly beating the game, you'll be back in the void room with Dummy. Dummy assumes the world in this game has an error and sends you back to your room. Upon entering the convenience store, you will notice an orb. Grabbing the orb and leaving the store will kick you, due to cashier missing and causing the shoplift ending to not work. Past this point, the story takes a turn and goes really in depth which will somewhat be talked about in this video later on. I suggest you play the game yourself if you don't know what happens past this point. Another kick message and minutes of dialogue later, you have have now completely finished the game. This is the true ending. Now, like every game out there, there's always a speedrunning community. So this video will be focusing on how fast speedrunners completed the true ending. Before beginning, one thing I should note is that the timing for this game is recorded by the second counter in the bottom left corner. A few people were already speedrunning Get a Snack at 4am before it was accepted to speedrun.com. One of the earliest speedruns of the game was done on April 17, 2021 by Slashedport. Before the run started, Slashed would enable fast text, as it would speed up dialogue through the entire game, saving a lot of time. Slashed starts with the basic endings first, being chips, toothpaste, and sleep. He would then complete the first phase of the longest ending in the game, Flooded. Slashed collects a soda from the fridge in the house along with 65 cash, which is used to buy 7 sodas to then give all 8 sodas to the main Vending machine. After nearly 3 minutes of feeding the vending machine, Slash then gets the shoplift ending. He then continues on with the second and last phase of the flooded ending. The second phase of the flooded ending requires you to collect one soda from the fridge, buy one soda from cashier, and obtain the 8 sodas back from the vending machine in your room. The 10 sodas must then be poured down the manhole. A bright light then shines out from the manhole, indicating that the second phase of flooded is complete. He then gets the orange ending. Upon rejoining, the world is flooded with soda. Slash then has to wait through 3 minutes of dialogue. 3 minutes. After the flooded ending, Slash finally gets the ultra death ending. After waiting through 2 minutes of dummy exposition, Slash rejoins the game and then waits another 7 grueling minutes to get the freezer ending. After this, Slash gets the rest of the endings, house fire and a horrible breakfast. After meeting with dummy for the last time, Slash is awarded with the main ending in 27 minutes and 19 seconds. But we aren't done yet. 
slash the rejoins in order to continue the game and start the true ending of get a snack at 4am. Dummy questions the player on why they came back, then chops it up to a glitch in the game that sends the player to their room. The player is instructed by Dummy to not touch the spinning orb in cashier's store. An error is given if you don't follow that instruction. The kick message states that cashier does not exist. You are back in Dummy's room once rejoining again. He tells you to throw the orb away, doing so gives another error. After rejoining one last time, you spawn in a corrupted version of the get a snack at 4am world, most likely caused by the orb shenanigans. Once you navigate to the store, Dummy greets you and puts you through a 4 minute long dialogue sequence, during which you're revealed to be playing as cashier. Dummy merges with you because… plot? <laughs> you then make your way across an obby where you gain the ability to jump at the very end of the game. You're then placed into a 6 minute cutscene. At last, Slash was awarded the true ending in 2473 seconds or 41 minutes and 13 seconds. The very next day, on April 18th, 2021, Slash lowered his record down from 41 minutes and 13 seconds down to 38 minutes and 11 seconds. The same route was used, however many improvements were made throughout the run. One main example is feeding the vending machine. Instead of getting the shoplift ending after feeding the vending machine, Slash waited for the freezer ending, saving nearly 3 minutes due to being occupied with the vending machine. Apart from that, this run is nearly identical to Slash's 41 minute run. Though two days later, on April 20th, a player named Wynoms improved the record by 12 seconds with a 37 minute and 59 second run. Notable route changes included a better breakfast ending, being chips and soda. Wynoms breakfast ending took 18 seconds, as for slashed 38 minute run, his breakfast ending was orange juice and toothpaste that took a minute and 11 seconds. Wynoms did the shoplift ending after the second phase of flooded. These were the only better improvements. Following suit, a player named Sir T. Wynoms record by 3 seconds the next day, being 37 minutes and 56 seconds using roughly the same route as Wynoms did, just with a different order of endings. On April 22nd, 2021, Get a Snack at 4am was added to Speedrun.com, meaning that runs could be properly tracked on the leaderboard. The first world record run to be submitted to Speedrun.com was a 34.03 by Slash on April 23rd, 2021. The major time saves in this run come from the discovery of Kick Delay, and furthermore, the multi-ending. Kick Delay is a trick that uses a Windows OS bug in order to delay the kick that comes with every ending, known as a minimize. By holding down the minimize button once the ending screen would reveal, but before you were kicked from the game, the amount of time it took to kick you from the game would drastically increase and tons of new strategies came to fruition in the following days. Before this, however, on the day before Slash's 3403 run, Cert threw around the idea of doing the house fire ending and freezer ending at the same time during the second phase of Flooded. Wynums decided to test this out, however, he added in the toothpaste ending to save some extra time. The strategy was to pre-place chips on the oven and toothpaste on a plate at any point during the second phase of Flooded. Then, the player would wait for the freezer timer to tick down, but when it reached 42 seconds, you would head back to the house. Once there, you would turn on the oven to start the house fire, take the toothpaste, then enter the freezer. After hearing 12 beeps from the house fire, you would press E on the freezer door to trigger the freezer ending, wait a bit, and then chug your toothpaste to trigger the toothpaste ending. If you did everything correctly, all three endings would be obtained, saving over a couple minutes. Multiple players found out it was possible, and the community came up with the very creative name of Triple Ending. This strategy combined two of the longest portions of the run, cutting over a minute off of the run. The next day, Slash discovered that you could do both the epic breakfast ending and orange ending at the same time with the aid of the new kick delay glitch, saving around 20 seconds. These two tricks would open the door for many more possibilities in routing. Slash would continue to lower the record using the same route, going down to a 33 minute 54 second run on April 25th, 2021, then a 33 minute 39 second run just three days later. On April 24th, 2021, the Pokemonkey123 found a way to clip through doors simply by going through, then walking backwards into it. However, this method was inconsistent and was brushed aside. Three days later, however, Cert wanted to revisit this idea. After some testing, Cert managed to get the first ever door luck clip and was able to be third person in the store, which normally you aren't supposed to. After tinkering around, he discovered that you were able to take items from the store as you pleased without triggering the shoplift ending, also cutting out the need to collect any money throughout runs. As a result of this discovery, the leaderboards were split into glitchless and glitched runs. Glitchless runs included all previous runs, while glitched runs would include the usage of door luck clips. Unfortunately, the original clips for these discoveries were posted on streamable and have since then been lost. 
The next major time save came along on April 30th, 2021 when Runner Drift discovered that you could do the Ultra Death ending during the Triple ending, however you would have to replace Toothpaste. This setup was similar to the old Triple ending, but this time you would buy orange juice from the store and drink it while waiting. Then, when he got inside the freezer, he would trigger the freezer ending, drink the toothpaste, and rush over to Dummy. Although Kick Delay only lasted for a maximum of a minute, reminimizing once in a while allowed for the Ultra Death ending dialogue to play out in full. This trick was nicknamed Dreyfel ending, Dreyfel being a combination of Drift and Triple. Drift would set a new world record in the glitch category the same day as the discovery of the Dreyfel ending, utilizing both Door Luck Clips and Dreyfel ending, getting a time of 31 minutes 16 seconds. The runner Fox Rebiant would later use the same route as Drift, lowering the glitch time down to 30 minutes and 28 seconds, shaving 48 seconds off of Drift's run. On May 6, 2021, Stixel released a major update to get a snack at 4am. Version 3.8 added a revolutionary new feature known as autoplay. Before version 3.8, dialogue would pause for 3 seconds after each text bubble to let the player fully read the dialogue before it disappeared. But now with a single press of the left alt button, that 3 second pause was gone, cutting out nearly 9 minutes of the speedrun. Subcategories were promptly made to separate runs that used autoplay and ones that didn't. Version 3.8 also removed the ability to door luck clip, and runs that used DLCs were moved to a legacy category. The next day, May 7th, Flash would submit a time of 24 minutes and 8 seconds to the autoplay category, using the same route as the no autoplay run. Slash also found a time save in the finale that somehow went unnoticed by the community. By falling off the broken road after leaving the house, the game just automatically teleports you to the front of the store, saving 10 seconds. A month later on May 14th, 2021, Fixel released a seemingly minuscule update, version 3.85. It seemed that it did nothing other than remove the feedback feature, so it went right under the noses of the entire speedrunning community. That was until June 4th, when Cert realized during the run that the version 3.85 update added about 30 seconds of dialogue to the final cutscene, which made current world records no longer possible to beat. After a poll in the announcements channel in the Discord server, it was decided that all runs done before the version 3.85 update were to be moved into the same legacy category that the DLC runs were moved to. This was a tremendous blow to the speedrunning community, and the amount of runs being submitted drastically decreased, world records becoming more and more sporadic. Some of the most prominent full game runners, like Cert, Slashed, Drift, and Fox Rebian, quit the game entirely, and it would take two to three months for both categories to return to their former glory. During this long period of dormancy, world records were being set by odd names, such as Connor Games with a 47 minute 58 second run, and Mad Black Boy Away with a 31 minute 37 second run. Ten days after the 3137, Ryan CL was the first to optimize the category, with a 26 minute 37 second run on May 28th. Even though he missed the epic breakfast, plus orange double ending, he didn't even do triple ending, or even the original double ending. Okay, never mind. I take back my first statement about this run. Three days later, the world record was taken back by a new runner by the name of Nysa, with a 24 minute 23 second run. Without the extra dialogue added in the final cutscene, this run would have actually beaten the original world record by Slash, a 2408. Nysa uses the same route as Slash. In the no autoplay category, there was only one ever world record during this period, a 35 minute 22 second run by Mizzic. Mizzic uses the same route as Slash's 3403, so not much is needed to be said about this run. Both categories would remain dormant for another month. Another thing that should be brought up as a side note is a time save was found where if you press F then E around the same time when buying an item in the store, it saves half a second per item. Usually when pressing F, you have to wait half a second before interacting with cashier, but when pressing F then E slightly later, this saves half a second, overall saving around 8 seconds in a run. On June 27th, 2021, Sixer released an update which added a retry button after you obtained each ending, and furthermore, it removed the kick after obtaining an ending. This meant two things. Kick delay was no longer a thing, and the glitched and glitchless subcategories were merged. Kick delay is no longer needed to get multi-endings, so Epic Breakfast plus Orange and Drift Lending were now way easier. The initial release of the feature was incredibly buggy, but the following day, every major bug was fixed, and runners could now hop in and test out the new possibilities with the new infinitely long end screen. Surt returned to the game after the new update, and proceeded to mess around with a ton of previously untested multi-endings. He eventually found Chips plus Toothpaste, Sleep plus Toothpaste, Chips plus Ultra Death, etc. The only one of the plethora of multi-endings he found to be useful was Chips plus Toothpaste, which saved around 13 seconds. However, at the time, this strategy was pretty difficult, so the runner that one cloud got the world record in no autoplay with a 34 minute 1 second run. The route was pretty much the same as Slash's 33 minute 30 
39 second run. Other than the fact that Drifle Ending was now in the route, on the same day, a couple of new tricks were found. Going back through the door during the third phase of Flooded and then exiting would unlock your character's movement, saving around 10 seconds. An easier method of doing chips plus toothpaste was found, though it only saved 9 seconds in autoplay. Using all of these new strategies, a runner by the name of Nikomata Ok Uwu improved the autoplay world record by a full 2 minutes, with a 22 minute 15 second run. Still on the same day, Cert then improved the no autoplay world record down to a 31 minute 40 second run with the strategies mentioned beforehand. Later, that one cloud would squeeze out a 22 minute 14 second autoplay record with the faster method of chips and toothpaste. It would take Nico 2 days to beat Cloud's run with a 21 minute and 50 second run. Surprisingly, there were no new strategies in this new record. The only improvement was the movement throughout the run. The next day, Nico would improve her own run with a 21 minute 29 second run by using a multi-ending that was already discovered, but brushed aside. That multi-ending was Chips plus Ultra Death, or in this case, Chips plus Main Ending. By drinking orange juice before doing the Chips and Toothpaste ending, you're able to cut out almost all of Dummy's dialogue during the main ending. This trick saved only half a minute in autoplay, but in the no autoplay category, it would theoretically save over two full minutes. And on the same day, Cloud achieved a 30 minute, 51 second no autoplay world record using Chips plus main ending. However, there was some more potential to Chips plus main ending. No one pursued it though. On July 18th, 2021, a player known as Joe the Baby Grabber took the main ending world record out of nowhere with a new time save. Instead of buying only one soda from cashier, he buys two sodas. That leaves you with one soda left in the vending machine for use later. After the drift ending, Joe clicks retry and collects one ticks, or cash. He then uses this one cash to buy the remaining soda can from the vending machine and uses it to start a house fire. The reason that this is possible is because the retry option tricks the game into letting you interact with objects during the third phase of Flooded, which should not be possible. Midway through Cashier's dialogue, the screen just goes black, but you can still interact with the door on the end screen. Joe spams the E button until he hears the sound effect that means he's through and then he waits for the Flooded ending to be awarded and then rejoins. This strategy saves around two minutes and was a breakthrough in both any percent categories. Something that should be noted before continuing is the house fire ending does include a bit of RNG. If you were to simply go for the house fire ending four times, each final time will most likely be a different time. Sometimes the fire can occur very quickly or really slowly. Nico would use this new multi ending the next day in order to achieve a time of 28 minutes and 43 seconds, absolutely destroying Cloud's previous world record of 30 minutes and 51 seconds. A week later, a new runner named Pie Boy swiped wiped the autoplay world record with a time of 21 minutes and 22 seconds. But they didn't get the house fire ending during the third phase of Flooded, losing about 30 seconds. It would take a month for anyone to take these records back, Naitsa being the one to do so, with a 28 minute 31 second run in no autoplay and a 20 minute 52 second run in autoplay. There were no route changes in his 2831 run, only movement optimizations, but his 2052 run makes use of doing the house fire ending during the third phase of Flooded, and saves the 30 seconds that Pie Boy lost in his run. It only took Pie Boy four days to get their record back with the 20 minute and 44 second run, but surprisingly, this is where the autoplay record stands today. Four months after Naitsa's 28 minutes and 31 seconds run in August, one runner started grading to beat it, and that runner was Sut. On December 27th, 2021, Sut was on World Cup pace until he forgot to pick up the recorded cash to buy orange juice during ships plus main ending, losing over 10 full seconds. The run ended with the time of 28 minutes and 42 seconds, 12 seconds away from the world record. Sert had a few more world record pace runs that ended in many ways, such as accidentally walking off at the hobby section, forgetting to hit ships for a double ending, unoptimized movements, lags, and so on. The next day, a new run showed up in the queue waiting to be verified. A remarkable 28 minutes and 25 seconds run by Pizza Boy Fan. Pizza Boy Fan was a user in the speedrunning Discord server known as Cesari, who had been grinding the game a bit for the past day or so. This run had no noticeable improvements, even including Housefire. Because Housefire is RNG, the ending can trigger between 1 minute and 13 seconds, all the way to around 1 minute and 24 seconds. Pizza Boy Fan's Housefire was triggered in 1 minute and 17 seconds, which is the same Housefire time as Nightstar's 28 minutes and 31 seconds run. Pizza Boy Fan's movement in his run had drastically more optimized movements than Nightstar's 28 31 run. However, there was one minor optimization that Cesare had not gone for 
although it's a bit of a joke in the community, by this tree in the finale Saobi section, there's a little ledge you could stand on, which led to members of the community joking about the possibility of taking this path instead of walking around the tree like a regular person. But there was one person that actually did go for it for the joke, and that was Sert. Two days later, on December 31st, 2021, the one-year anniversary of Get a Snack at 4am's release, Cert would start his final stream of the year. A few attempts in, he would be on his best run yet, getting a house fire RNG time of 1 minute 14 seconds, being 3 seconds faster than Pizza Boy fans house fire, along with finishing the main ending in 14 minutes and 1 second, meaning he was 7 seconds ahead of the 28 minute 31 second run. Cert was on pace for a 28 minute 24 second run, or maybe even better. In the final, as he was approaching the tree, he contemplated whether or not to actually go for it. Mere seconds before reaching the tree, he made up his mind. Once he entered the final cutscene of the game, he took note of his entry. Doing the calculations quickly on his phone, it resulted in an estimated time of 28 minutes and 23 seconds, beating Sedgeri's world record run by 2 seconds. The final time ended up actually being 28 minutes and 22 seconds, further solidifying his new world record. Cert would jokingly say that he would never run the game again, which turned out to be true. For nearly two years, his 28 minutes and 22 second run was the world record for any percent true ending no autoplay, which is one of the longest lasting world records in the game. After Surt's run, barely anyone ran the game and got nowhere close to beating the world record. Months had passed and eventually Stixel released a reimagination of Get a Snack, but we'll talk about that later. It had been a year and no one had come close to the world record. By this point, Get a Snack had a few updates over time, such as extra dialogue being added at some points, the stopwatch being formatted in minutes including milliseconds, and was also moved to the top left of the screen instead of being hardly visible at the bottom left of the screen. Around two years after Cert accomplished his 28 minute 22 second world record run, November 20th, 2023 was the day where the runner Ryukraft submitted a 28 minute and 2 second run for the game, which would make this the new world record by 20 seconds. However, this run wasn't verified until around two months later on January 16th, 2024. The thing about this run was Ryukraft was 5 seconds ahead of Cert's world record when he completed the main ending, although he got a 1 minute 21 second house fire RNG, being 7 seconds slower than Cert's house fire RNG. However, he somehow saved 15 seconds at the end of the game without knowing the reason. Later it was found out that there used to be added dialogue near the end of the game explaining how Roblox games are now called experiences. This was brought up earlier in the video, when all the any percent runs were moved to a legacy category. This dialogue ended up being removed sometime in 2023 resulting in 15 seconds being saved no matter what. Although even if this dialogue still existed, Wii U's craft would have still been the world record by 5 seconds. After Wii Ucraft's run was verified on speedrun.com, a few people began running the game again such as Knightsa and Slashed. Another runner that was around named WZOM had also been running the game as well for a bit, getting a 28 8 minute 3 second run on January 19th, 2024 just one second away from beating Ryukraft's world record. This run was flawless, including a 1 minute 17 second house fire. However, while he was doing chips plus main ending, he lost 9 seconds due to him talking to Dummy too early. He lost time because two NPCs cannot talk at once, meaning because he talked to Dummy very quickly, Dad's dialogue didn't even start until 9 seconds later, causing the chips ending to trigger later losing him 9 seconds. If this didn't happen, this would have been a 27 minute 54 second run being 8 seconds ahead of the world record. He had been playing for hours and hours, wanting to get the world record in sub-28. Knights and Slash had been running the game at the same time. Slash ended up getting a 28 minute 18 second run on his first attempt, 4 seconds faster than Surt's record, and Knights later getting a 28 minute 13 second run, 5 seconds faster than Slash's first attempt. However, on Slash's next attempt, he completed the main ending 1 second faster than Wii Ucraft's run, and got a 1 minute 17 second house fire. If everything went according to plan, Slash would get the world record by a second. And that's exactly what happened. 
28 minutes and 1 second was the new world record, just barely making it closer and closer to a sub-28 run. Around this time, it was eventually obvious to runners that the house fire ending was not required to be triggered while doing driffle ending, as you were already doing house fire during the third phase of flooded. W Zom was still speedrunning to get the world record in sub-28. Eventually, he got a run where he got a minute and 15 second house fire being 2 seconds faster than Slash's house fire, along with being 6 seconds ahead of Slash's main ending time. <laughs> this could be the first sub-28 speedrun if nothing went wrong. He grabbed the orb, threw it away, made his way out of bounds, and finished the obby. He was given the true ending, waiting for the statistics slowly but surely. Would this be the first sub-28 speedrun? Yes, it would. 27 minutes and 54 seconds. WZOM had just beaten the world record by 7 seconds. The entire run was nearly perfect along with really great movement throughout the run and seems like it could barely be improved. A perfect run at this point could maybe make 27 4x possible. But before people tried going for it, Slash spent hours diddling around trying to find optimizations. Whether that was shortcuts, bugs, or somehow attempting to get different combinations of double endings or even triple endings. After a while, Slash came to the conclusion that you can get a triple ending being chips, breakfast, and orange. The setup is to do this at any point in the game after phase 1 of Flooded so you can grab a soda from the vending machine in your room, place it on the drink spot, grab the chips, go outside and eat them at the same time, wait a minute and quickly go back inside, grab the soda from the fridge, place it on the plate, and grab the orange. Eating the chips outside for some reason triggers the chips ending without having to go to the hallway. Doing this triple ending route, however, only saves about 2 seconds. Eventually, Slash realized you would have to do the toothpaste ending on its own, taking about 10 seconds, resulting in this new route being 9 seconds slower. Slash then tried throwing ideas around on if you could get another ending with toothpaste to save time. And it turns out the double ending toothpaste plus sleep was possible. The route is to grab the chips, eat them outside, once you finish eating you'd go back inside, grab the toothpaste from the bathroom, and swallow the toothpaste as soon as you enter your room, getting the toothpaste plus sleep ending in 32 seconds. Slash ended up doing the math. Doing epic breakfast plus orange, then chips plus toothpaste, then sleep takes 1 minute and 6 seconds. However, doing breakfast plus chips plus orange, then toothpaste plus sleep, takes 1 minute and 2 seconds, making this new routing save 4 seconds. With this in mind, a 27 4x run was definitely possible, and that's exactly what WZOM went for. January 20th, 2024, Zom had started a run doing the new triple ending first. However, a couple seconds were lost here due to him grabbing toothpaste instead of a soda from the vending machine. Though this run began before Slash found out a soda from the vending machine was slightly faster. Next was toothpaste plus sleep. Two seconds could have been saved here if he started swallowing the toothpaste right after he entered the room instead of waiting to get the sleep ending. His first phase of Flooded was flawless, and finished the second phase of Flooded along with getting the Ultra Death and Freezer ending. He retried and began the house fire during the third phase of Flooded, a 1 minute 13 second house fire. This was the best house fire RNG Zom or anybody else had gotten. This run was going incredible. His chips plus main ending was good and finished the main ending in 13 minutes and 38 seconds, making him 11 seconds ahead of his 27 minute and 54 second run. Same thing as usual, he grabbed the orb, shoplifted, threw it away, and made his way to the end slowly but surely. He made it to the end with slightly better optimized movement, and no mistakes were made. This was guaranteed to be the first 27 4x run, and his final time was... So we need to hope that it's under 1670. Holy... Wait, no, that's 2740, isn't it? That's 2740. What? 27 minutes and 40 seconds. This was the new world record by 14 seconds, being the first 27 4x run and just barely being close to the first 27 3x run as well. A 27 3x run was definitely possible though. A few seconds of time was lost during the new triple ending route and toothpaste plus sleep time save. Zom didn't run the game again though until a couple days later. 
But before he even ran the game again, Slash searched for more and more optimizations, different double ending combinations, more time save discoveries, and while he was testing what ending combinations would be faster with main ending, he realized something. He managed to trigger the main ending even though he didn't drink the orange juice before swallowing toothpaste. It turns out, if you enter the convenience store, grab the orange juice and click it, the game registers as you technically drinking it, even though you haven't. So throwing it away and going back inside the house to swallow the toothpaste will trigger the main ending. Since you're skipping having to wait to buy orange juice, this discovery saves 5 seconds. But Slash wasn't done yet. He found out doing the sleep plus main ending is 7 seconds faster than doing chips plus main ending. This discovery makes 27 2x possible. Slashed also discovered after you finish phase 2 of flooded and drink the orange juice for ultra death. As soon as cashier's time until break is zero and you hear the beep, trigger the breakfast ending and eat chips right beforehand. The main thing with eating or drinking something is that your walk speed will be set to a lower number, then eventually back to your original walk speed. When obtaining an ending your walk speed will be zero, so you can't keep playing the game blind. However, if you eat chips as late as possible before breakfast triggers, you will finish eating the chips after the ending is triggered. And because you finished eating the chips last, your walk speed is set back to normal, letting you walk around the map blind. Because cashier went on break, you can enter the freezer, although first you need to pre-place the toothpaste on the stove so you can grab it after eating the chips. If you know where you're going, you can eventually enter the convenience store and the freezer, trigger the freezer ending, then eat the toothpaste. Normally, doing the route beforehand, the time stops are around 7 minutes and 22 seconds, but because you trigger the breakfast ending right when cashier goes on break, this saves 11 seconds, making a 27-1x run a possibility. However, nobody has decided or managed to do this route yet. Eventually, two days later on January 22nd, Slash ran the game a couple times. Every ending he obtained had been slower than Wyzom's 2740, mainly due to unoptimized movement. And I mean it, when it comes to optimizing movement, WZOM is a god at it. Slash eventually gained 18 seconds with the new optimizations including grabbing a soda instead of toothpaste for the new triple ending. However, Slash did not attempt the breakfast ending after Cashier goes on break during the second phase of Flooded. Timing the chips as late as possible is extremely precise and really hard to pull off. Messing it up completely just ends the run having to start all over. Slash's house fire time would be an unlucky 1 minute 20 second time, being 7 seconds slower than WZOM's house fire RNG. Regardless, Slash finished the main end in 13 minutes and 30 seconds, being 8 seconds faster than WZOM's 2740 run. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean this would be a 27 minute 32 second run, due to unoptimized movement for the rest of the game. But in the end, Slash still got the world record by 3 seconds along with being the first 27 3x run, 27 37. This run was not that optimized and could easily be lowered down to a 27 2x run or possibly even a 27 1x run. Slash spent hours doing every combination of double endings to see what would be a faster route. Unfortunately, there were no faster routes than what there already was. WZOM and anybody else who grinded the game every day didn't run the game for a few days due to them being busy. Slash, on the other hand, did a run two days later on January 24th. Slash also learned a small time save beforehand where instead of throwing the orange juice away after supposedly drinking it, you can simply place it on the counter, saving half a second. Slash started the run by doing sleepless toothpaste, then began phase 1 of flooded, then shoplifting. After doing the second phase of flooded, he decided to attempt getting the breakfast ending right when cashier went on break to save 11 seconds. Yummy. Nom, nom, nom. Nom, nom. He had done it. You can hear him walking around, able to play the game blind. Now, once obtaining an ending, many things don't function until you retry, such as not being able to drink or eat anything, or trigger another ending unless it's set up. And since Slash triggered the breakfast ending right as Cashier went on break, he could now play the game blind by grabbing the toothpaste on the stove since grabbing items on plates, counters, or the stove still functions. He then made his way outside to the store, entered the freezer, triggering the freezer ending, then chugging his toothpaste to trigger the ultra death ending, saving 11 seconds. This this can easily be a 27 2x run if he messes nothing up past this point. Next came the third phase of Flooded in Housefire. 
Unfortunately, Slash got unlucky once again and got a 1 minute 20 second house fire, though he technically didn't lose time compared to his 27 minute 37 second world record run, because that run also got a 1 minute 20 second house fire. He hesitated for a moment going the wrong way during the new triple ending, losing about a second, but thankfully the run didn't just die there. He then finally gets the main ending in around 13 minutes and 20 seconds. This was definitely the first 27-2x run as long as he didn't mess up anything. The orb was shoplifted, then thrown away, and finally the end of the game with a final time of 27 minutes and 22 seconds, being 15 seconds ahead of his previous world record. Comparing this run and WZOM's best segments throughout the game, you could beat the game perfectly in around 27 minutes and 9 seconds. Almost an hour after Slash did his 27-22 run, Zom learned the new routes and strategies before giving it a few runs. Now, he didn't instantly want the world record, he wanted the perfect run. Or, well, a 27-0x run. He would restart the run even if he was just a couple seconds slower on something. With a perfect run, a 27-0x run is possible, and the reason Zom was going for a perfect run was because Slash had set a 10,000 Robux bounty on the first 27-0x run. Zom wanted the best time, he wanted a first phase flooded time of 2.42, he wanted a second phase flooded time of 7.11, and he wanted a 1.13 house fire. Slash just assumed there was barely any time saves left for sub-27 to be possible, he had spent tens of hours checking every crevice route, faster ending combinations or shortcuts, different routes, anything. The last thing he hadn't checked for a while was the last phase of flooded. The only endings you can do during the last phase of flooded is house fire and orange, you are unable to interact with anything else. Doing orange just wastes time and nothing can be combined. Slash gave up on the third phase of Flooded until he played around with the stove and managed to get house fire times that didn't seem possible, a 1 minute 11 second house fire, and then a 1 minute 5 second house fire. If you place the soda on the stove and turn it on, then turn off the stove and pick up the soda, then do this process again. Once you hear a ding, turn off the stove, pick up the soda, then place it back. This will for some reason make the house fire ending faster by over 8 seconds. This meant sub 27 could actually be possible if you get the perfect run now. Slash then lowered the time on the bounty, being 10,000 robux for the first sub 27 run. Zom noted this and began running the game again every once in a while. Zom had many great pace runs that could have been a 27 OX run or possibly sub 27. Sometimes he would mess up the new triple ending by not grabbing orange or getting a somewhat bad house fire of 1 minute 12 seconds. After a couple days though, Zom didn't run the game that often anymore. A few weeks went by until a runner who had been in the community for a while, Lille, decided to run the game and relearn the strategies and routes. After many failed attempts, Lille eventually got a decent run of 27 minutes 23 seconds, being just one second behind Slash's run. The next day, February 14th, Lille completed the main ending in 13 minutes 5 seconds. Really the only flaw with this run was not getting the best house fire, being 1 minute 7 seconds, but this was still world record pace and would be the first 27-1x run, or possibly 27-0x. Without making any big mistakes at the end, the final time was 27 minutes 11 seconds, decently close to the first 27 OX run, but Lily didn't care. This was still world record by 11 seconds. By this point, not many runners were running this game that often anymore. Slash had stopped looking for optimal route shortcuts or strategies long ago after his 27-22 run. There wasn't much else he did. Except shoplift a thousand times, but th th that's not the point. Past this point, Zom seemed to be the only person to consistently run this game anymore. Around the time Slash did every double ending combination, he had the thought of doing every triple ending combination. However, that would be 1,000 different combinations of endings. Well, not really. You can't do triple endings like chips plus chips plus toothpaste, or chips plus sleep plus flooded. And combinations like chips plus breakfast plus orange is the same thing as orange plus breakfast plus chips. Slash came back to this idea on March 3rd, and with a bit of math, don't worry about this, there are 128 different possible unique triple ending combinations. Slash tested every combination to see what was possible. After a few hours, he found 13 possible triple ending combinations, and here's a list. Slash spent another two hours figuring out what double or triple endings would be faster that includes every ending. Whatever Slash was about to find would guarantee to be the fastest possible route and get a snack, unless more bugs or shortcuts are discovered, of course. But unfortunately, there was no faster route than what the current route was right now. There was nothing left. Although a couple days beforehand, Slash auto-clicked out a window in the house with the soda out. You're able to clip out of the map doing this, however it's extremely inconsistent and auto-clickers are not allowed in a speedrun. If you manage to do this at the start of the first phase of Flooded, you could save a couple seconds. You can also clip outside the store with an unbought soda that you were able to put in the vending machine without paying for it, also saving a few seconds. If this were to be pulled off once or twice in an actual run without auto-clicking, a sub-27 run is definitely possible, just very hard and inconsistent. 
Now, let's talk about WZOM's run grinding again. In one of his runs during the last phase of Flooded and Housefire, he went outside and there was no Flooded event happening. No soda rising, no music, no dialogue. Cashier still had dialogue, but when he entered the freezer, he got the freezer ending instead of Flooded. This was brushed aside pretty quickly because it was quote-unquote impossible. Before Slash fully dropped this game, he thought about finding time saves on the first and second phase of Flooded. However, there was nothing to save. Except he thought about what happened with WZOM. Getting the freezer ending during Flooded. He thought it was impossible to save time since the second phase of Flooded is followed up by doing Freezer along with Breakfast and Ultra Death. On March 5th, Slash tried to complete the second phase of Flooded as fast as possible, which was a little longer than four minutes. He did the best route to also include Ultra Death and Sleep since Ultra Death was the only ending that needed to be obtained since the route was changed. Slash saved two soda cans in the vending machine, one for Freezer and one for Flooded, and surprisingly, it worked. You can get Freezer plus house fire in one minute and five seconds during the third phase of Flooded. And because of the second phase of Flooded's route and there being less endings to do multiple times for other endings, this saved two minutes, making a 25 minute run possible. This was huge for speedrunning. Before being just barely able to get sub 27 and now you can get a 25 minute run without needing to be extremely perfect on anything. Slash immediately ran the game and lost a bit of time throughout the run, such as a one minute 29 second house fire on flooded uh, how does that even happen regardless slash had a pretty solid run managing to get the second phase of flooded done along with getting the sleep and ultra death ending in four minutes 38 seconds slash ended up completing the main ending in 11 minutes and 39 seconds almost a minute and a half faster than lily's main ending time this was paced to be a 25 4x run the first 27 and sub 26 run ever and it was with a 25 minute 43 second run. Eventually the video and new routing was shown. Speaking of which, I should probably explain the route. To make what's about to happen easier, enable dialog box GUI in the settings and grab a soda from the vending machine. Place it on the plate and grab the chips. Go outside and eat the chips and interact with the manhole. Usually your walk speed is zero when you interact with the manhole and other stuff, but when you finish eating the chips, your walk speed will be set back to 16, letting you roam around. During this time, you grab another soda from your room and stand outside the door. The reason for this is because apparently when the manhole dialog stops halfway through, your walk speed is set back to zero. So so to get unstuck, enter the door when he starts talking again so your walk speed is set back to 16. This sounds very complicated, I, I know. You place the soda on the stove, then grab another soda from the vending machine. You then go outside and can perfectly give the soda to the manhole in time. Then you would go to the store and buy three sodas to pour down the manhole. Although because you're doing Ultra Death, you want to place the unbought soda, grab the orange juice, click it so the game thinks you've drank it, buy the soda, then throw away the orange juice and very quickly grab the soda at the same time. This saves a few seconds, even though it's pretty hard to pull off and sounds extremely complicated. Once the three sodas from the store are poured down, take the three sodas in the kitchen and pour them down the manhole as well. Then buy four more sodas in the vending machine to complete the second phase of Flooded. Finally, you go to the bathroom, grab the toothpaste, and go to sleep. You're able to sleep since you ate the toothpaste at the start of the second phase of Flooded to save time. Chug the toothpaste and get Ultra Death. Afterward, you want to do the last phase of Flooded in House Fire like you usually do, except you want to wait a moment before going outside. If the house gets set on fire and you want to go outside, the game just breaks and doesn't trigger flooded at all. This is what happened to WZOM earlier. Entering the freezer like you usually do will just give you the freezer ending. Once you retry again, you just do the last phase of flooded and house fire like you usually do. And because you bought three sodas from the store earlier instead of two, there are two sodas in the vending machine to make this possible. The other route change is just doing the toothpaste ending on its own. Apart from that, Slash ran the game a couple more times and improved his run by 3 seconds with an 11 minute 39 second main ending and 25 minute 40 second true ending. Adding all the time losses up in this run was about 30 seconds, meaning the best run you could get is a 25-0x. A couple people learned the new routing and began running the game. One of the couple people was Lily who wanted the world record back, getting a 25 minute 32 second run with a much better house fire than Slash, but was a bit rusty on the routing for the second phase of Flooded. Slash ran the game about a week and a half later on March 15th and got a time of 25 minutes 25 seconds. About 8 seconds was lost due to house fire, 2 seconds were lost on sleep plus main ending, and overall movement optimization costed a few seconds as well, making a 25 x run just barely possible. And believe it or not, 
this is where the world record stands right now. Because this was all discovered a week before this video was released, the record hasn't been fully optimized yet, and the 10,000 Robux bounty has been lowered to be the first 25OX run, meaning that you, the viewer, could be the person to claim this bounty or just be the first 25OX run, or possibly even sub-25. But you would need crazy movement optimizations for that to happen, and it's most likely not even possible unless another time save is discovered, which, believe me, I really don't think sub-25 is possible at this point. But hey, don't take my word. Maybe a few months after this video is released, the world record might shatter the sub-25 barrier, and maybe some time save is found. I'll leave a pinned comment updating what the current world record is right now, but for now, this is where the history of Get a Snack Speedrun ends today. One last side note is, Slash found a 40 second time save, however, you would need crazy luck for it to happen. If you take a risk and only leave one soda in the vending machine for flooded and do freezer plus house fire, instead of flooded plus house fire, you can technically do flooded plus orange, saving around 30 seconds. The only other possible ending you can get during flooded is orange, but how is flooded plus orange possible? Well, there is a very low chance that a letter can appear in the mailbox. Opening it sets your walk speed to zero, then closing it sets your walk speed back to 16. If you immediately go outside during flooded and open the letter, go back inside and collect the orange, get the ending, then close the note, you are able to play the game blind and get the flooded ending. So if you manage to get very lucky with a 1 in 500 chance, I, I don't know what the chance of it is, but because you only left one soda in the vending machine for freezer only, this makes phase 2 of flooded slightly faster by around 15 to 20 seconds, since you don't need to go to the store one more time, making this overall time save around 45 to 55 seconds, meaning a 24-2x or 24-1x run would be possible, but I doubt anyone would go through the trial and error to actually do this. And while the world record scene for Get a Snack at 4am has been somewhat active again, the speedrunning scene of Roblox Adventure Games is a lot more active and alive. Get a Snack at 4am isn't dead as of now and will still receive runs from time to time. And who knows, maybe this video has a good chance of reviving the community and possibly break this game even further. Unless most bugs or glitches get patched. If you'd like to join the Discord server for the speedrunning community to find time saves or just run the game, I'll put a link in the description. Other adventure games though, like NPCs are becoming smart have had many new runners constantly running the game for well over a year now. And around June of 2022, Stixel released a reimagination of Get a Snack named Get a Snack at 4am Snack Core. More endings were introduced in this game along with most endings from the main game being included or changed. Obviously, speedrunners have ran an optimized Snack Core to its near fullest as well. But that won't be talked about in this video. Maybe one day that story will be for another time. For a while after this video releases, WZOM is most likely going to stream a bit often speedrunning this game. If you'd like to watch him, I'll put his channel in the description. And special thanks to people in the community to help voice over this video. Thank you.